Hello campers, and welcome to another Nowhere in Particular Campground Review, where we tell you everything you need to know to stay at the Diamond Lake Campground in Augusta, Georgia. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly travel content and reviews. First thing is always first, let's talk about RV parking. We stayed right about yep in spot number six, which was a pull-through with full hookups. A pull-through is almost always perfection, but our only gripe was that this spot was sloped slightly uphill, so we had to work a little harder to level the camper front to back. Even so, parking was a dream, so we gave it a 9 out of 10. Up next, amenities. Park amenities were in excellent condition. Each campsite had full hookups, and you heard that right, sewer on-site baby. In addition to sewer, your site comes equipped with an asphalt parking pad, campfire pit, picnic table, water, and a 30 and 50 amp electrical service. We normally don't film inside bathrooms, but on this occasion you have complete privacy in your own locking stalls. Trust me, on the road total privacy is very hard to come by, so enjoy it when you can. The surrounding park is massive and includes walking trails, playgrounds, sports facilities, and a picturesque pond. However, this campsite does not have laundry or propane on site, and there is no park service station or camp store, or really any staff presence, so if you're planning on an extended stay, be warned. For this reason, we gave amenities a 7 out of 10. Up next, we have value. Diamond Lakes will run you exactly $30 per night. Reservations can be made on reserveamerica.com and must be paid in advance to hold your spot. 30 bucks for full hookup is pretty cheap, so we give value the standard government operated park score of 8 out of 10. Finally, we have destination. Destination score is quantifying the unquantifiable. It is distilling that little something extra from the whole scheme. It is definitely completely unbiased and has nothing at all to do with our personal feelings. That being said, our personal feelings are that Augusta doesn't have a whole lot going for it. You know, unless you like golfing and airports. We were only there for three days, maybe we didn't really experience the essence and the soul of the city, but meh. We give Diamond Lakes Campground destination score of 4 out of 10. And time for final scores. Add everything together and you get a totally unbiased, nowhere in particular score of 28 out of a possible 40 points. Certainly above our last stop at Sawney, but not as nice as Bald Ridge. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more campground reviews and travel content.